Urban Eat. Urban Eat. Urban Eat. <laughs> Why? Woo! Tired now. <laughs> you said you tired. Me too. I really need to mop this floor though. <laughs> what kind of camera is that? Sony. A7S2. It's like a square. It's like a super square camera. Where's the thermometer? Oh. This joint gonna be so ridiculous because the last time we did this, this joint almost like volcanoed out of here. Like literally, like we was over here panicking, like, oh shoot. Like it almost volcanoed out of this world. I let it warm up some more though. I gotta let that warm up some more. I'm about to mix some um, potassium hydroxide for the liquid soap production. I'm gonna be showing you guys our liquid soap production. Uh, we just recently scaled it up from, I don't know why Taryn has carrots and hummus over here. It's just, she needs to move. But, um, and she got chips. We used to make liquid soap in this right here. This joint right here, you see this is no space, like no room, no nothing. This would literally, like Taryn said in the video, this would take us like a several day process. Like we'll melt the oils in here, let it cook in the crock pot for four hours, three to four hours. Then after that, we have to take, we have to weigh it and take it out. We put it in a pot like this and we'll let it sit on the stove and let it dilute for like an hour. Then after you let it dilute for an hour, you have to let it cool for like a day. So this was literally a two day process and we would only yield about two dozen bottles from two dozen like eight ounce bottles from that whole process. Now that we got a newer tank, um, we've taken our bar soap production out of this tank. We moved it to the 45 gallon tank and now we make liquid soap in this tank. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to mix up the, um, I'm about to mix the potassium hydroxide really quickly so we can mix the, um, what do you call that joint? So we can mix the liquid soap. Let me get a spatula. Alrighty, so based on my recipe, I know I need to make uh, that 42.92. 42.92 ounces. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This is like, this is like, look like rocks, huh? Like some crack rock. Cooking in the kitchen. The wrist game proper. This might be like maybe a part whipping up the soap. <laughs> My brother was singing that song like in his head yesterday. Like he just seen it. I'm like, bro, that's our song. Alright, so now I'm about to pour. You never pour water into potassium hydroxide, you do the potassium hydroxide into the water. So they're gonna do a little, it's gonna be a little fume. I don't know, you might have coughed because of this. Cause this could be a little strong. Maybe, I, think I thought I just like saw my stick. Uh, ooh. See the fumes coming from it? That's why I got my mask on. Always hit them with the, you know, the, the vortex, get it spinning. And then when you immerse it, when you go to, you go like this, and then mm -hmm. <laughs> you go like this, and then you go opposite. That really mixes something. So when anytime you're mixing something, that's how you properly mix. You go one way, then you go the opposite way. 
it mixed it pretty well. All right. Now we're ready to do our thing. We have 117, that's a good temperature. Temperature. So now what we do is Pour that in there. You get the warring. So you, you don't need you don't need to get on here, do you? Mm -mm. I mean, I'm gonna get on here. So now we used to mix. We used to do this mixing in the crock pot, like I was showing you. But now I have being able to do it here so much better. This process is gonna take about 15, 20 minutes. So glad. I don't know if you if people probably even remember. You remember those stick blenders we had? Them little joints? You probably you ain't never you hadn't seen this <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I ain't this seen joint that. is it's like one that on I remember the little Yeah, them little joints. This is one horsepower. <laughs> this joint can be so powerful. I love it though. It makes soap making so much more efficient and faster because it mixes really good. <laughs> I know people are probably like, there's like, there's not a lot in here. It doesn't look like there's a lot in here though, do it? Cause it's so far down. Cause it's so far down here, it doesn't look like it's a lot. But the thing is, is that with liquid soap, we're making our goal right now is we're mixing this and it's gonna make a thick paste. So, you know, it makes, it makes a thick paste. And after you make the thick paste for like a few hours, you pour your distilled water in there and it's gonna dilute into the water and that's what makes your liquid soap. So we're gonna end up pouring like three or four gallons of water in here and it's gonna fill up, you know what I'm saying, almost to the top. So then that's gonna be a whole tank of liquid soap. <laughs> process of it's not the process but it's getting more um i don't know if you guys probably seen it but it's getting more like thicker and it's, it's getting more cloudier 
it was it was clear at first when we first started, but now it's starting to really mix now. I hope it doesn't. I hope it don't rise on me this time. Cause this joint was like a volcano the last time. Stick blender now, man. Joint heavy, <laughs> but I've been in the gym now. It's lightweight. Nah, it's really not. take forever but again we waiting for it to uh, get to a thick pace once you you know it's finished when you get it to a thick pace and you really can't even blend no more because your blender won't even work no more but you're gonna start handing in my blender that the blender gonna not not gonna want to go <laughs> y'all had cream and wheat back in the day you had cream and wheat yeah, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people ain't had cream and wheat man comment below if you've had cream and wheat only the real ogs had cream and wheat i don't think none of them 2000 babies had cream and wheat <laughs> nah, <I don't> <laughs> 
cream of wheat is that old school breakfast like my grandma, she used to give it to us, and she lived in Ohio, so I don't know. That must be that old, it must be an old Southern thing. Is it a Southern thing? Probably is. I think that's definitely a Southern thing. It's gotta be a Southern, but she was from, she was from Alabama, so she was in Ohio, but that's an old Southern thing. <laughs> It's starting to rise. It's rising. Now this is the scary part because you gotta like, you gotta like be. The thing is, it's rising because heat. So you gotta like put holes in it. You gotta put holes in it to let the heat dissipate, come out. Well, it's not gonna come up. It's not coming up. It came up a little bit, but the thing is, <coughs> if you stay on it really good and you put holes in it, you don't broke a sweat. Making it's that hard look, work. He tried to ask me that I want to make the liquid soap. It's hard work, so ha. give me a spatula. All right, so that is it. So pretty much what I do now, I'm gonna close this up and I'm gonna let this cook for the next three hours. And after it cooks, you can actually kind of see it a little bit here, like right here, how it's kind of becoming translucent. It's a little, almost a little bit clear. We wanted to get kind of like to this consistency, but we're gonna let it cook for three hours. It's gonna get more clear. Then we're gonna throw a whole bunch of water in it and just let it sit in there and it's gonna dilute overnight. So you guys can see it. this joint back off but we're good so I'm gonna let this sit in here where the top at oh it's right there let that sit in there That's it. But it, it is hot. It was hot. That duck was super hot. I was sweating hard. You know? <laughs> sweating hard. Hard body. 
Yeah, this is a nasty bathroom. Well, I'm waiting to get these dishes out of here. We'll be getting that other sink installed pretty soon. My dad wants to install it this weekend. Intense. It was hot right there. Irony. 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 What? The way you blended that up and put that in there like that. Oh yeah. yeah I ain't yeah. never seen you do that. Can you smell it? Mmm. Smell that. That joint smell like made for babies. That is made for babies. Oh, chamomile calendula. Great for babies. The two best herbs for babies. Two best herbs for babies. Chamomile and calendula. How do people say, some people be like calamine. Some people say calendula. I don't know how they be saying it. They be saying the word all types of ways, bro. It be crazy. Isaiah actually said that you should uh, talk about each herb. Yeah. Even tell people how to pronounce it. Yeah. What's the Oh, chamomile and calendula. Chamomile and calendula. People will be all types of. I like calendula. See, okay, yeah. Some people say it like that. Right you can say it like that too. I guess you can't say that. It's like tomato, tomato. Pretty yeah. much. I should make a good old bowl of this fitness. It's so.
When is it ready yet? Yeah, yeah. I was just letting it cool down. Should be good now. Nah, nah. It says, uh, it didn't really go nowhere. I mean, it did, but. Maybe it'll still be alright, because what's the line? 122. The line was really low, 72. Oh, this will be good. Hold it right there. My bad. <coughs> alright, so what is this? The sodium hydroxide I'm pouring into the to the uh, oil base of coconut palm and shea butter. We're about to make this is uh what is this like uh what did I say uh, 72 bars right here. And this then Karen, what'd you make? My bad. I just blended up some chamomile and calendula herb to go in. Oh, did you need to put the oil in? Huh? What? Yeah, did I'm gonna put some oil in. There. Put some oil in here real quick. Just put like two of those in there because you don't need to go over it too much. Mm -hmm. Spill none on the sides and I just did it. Hey, you got perfect. I just did like a little bit right there.
That's one. We're only doing three today because you need to make more life. So that it's gonna make life for you left. This guy here, this thing, just don't want to act right. It seems like the bar soap has a little bit more detail that goes into it, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, it does. More aesthetic. More aesthetic? Mm -hmm. Is there any coffee in the video? Mm hmm. Great.
a little more. No drips on the side. Can I do it? Hopefully so. I did it. Take a minute. No soap left behind. No soap left. So last one I got. I love the fact that I ain't gotta like weigh this thing out no more. Like I can just literally put it on here. I just tear it.
Okay, Quinn, I'm done. 2,000 babies had cream of weed. I didn't have cream of weed either. You lying. And my mom, she from up north. We said it was a southern thing. Oh, that's probably why I haven't had it then. But my, I had it when I was in Ohio, but my grandma's from Alabama, though. I done had grits with sugar. That ain't the same. <laughs> that is not the same. I do grits with sugar now. Irony, irony, irony. 